What's going on, Tribe? My name is Nicole. And my name is Kia. And we are the co-owners of Glamorina. Glamorina is an inclusive women's lifestyle brand specializing in culturally inspired activewear, intentionally designed to complement all complexions and body types. Our mission is to provide a safe space in health and wellness where every body belongs. And welcome to Behind Glamorina Moms on a Mission podcast, where we discuss how we balance being successful Black women entrepreneurs, working nine to five jobs, motherhood, raising our kids, self-care and everything in between. Yep. So before we dive into today's topic, if you've been following the podcast, you know, we like to do a mental health check in, check in with each other, see how we're doing. And we want you to do the same thing while you're listening. So this week, new week. Yeah. How are you feeling? <laughs> Um, you know, it's midweek, it's Wednesday. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I always, I feel like I get um, what they call a second win by the midweek, which mm-hmm. is interesting. Um, you work your first two days and then it's like Wednesday. Okay. I'm thinking about the weekend. Um, mm-hmm. So I have to say I am feeling pretty good and spring is right around the corner. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. How are you, Nicole? How are you feeling today? Feeling good. Feeling good. You're right. It's hump day. So it's like you you made it through that to that hump, you know? Yeah. You, winding down just a little bit. So I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm feeling good and optimistic and just like you said, ready for the weekend, ready to wind down for the week. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Good. So in today's topic, today's episode, we are going to be talking about the pros and cons of dating an older man. Um, this is a topic that we know a lot of women, um, discuss you know friend groups amongst you know your family your friends whatever that this is something that exists and we felt like it would be a good topic to talk to you guys about today and Mm -hmm. just kind of see how we weigh in and then kind of get your thoughts too you know when you chime Mm -hmm. in when you listen to the episode yeah absolutely this is going to be this is kind of a girl chat um the pg version (laughs) because we're not going to be getting into anything too uh too crazy about dating older men but yes um nicole and i have experience as i'm sure many of our listeners have had experience dating an older man at some point in your life Um, of course it's not for everybody some people are younger but this topic today is about dating older um and again this we're not really going over like is it bad or is it good to date older men we just want to have a little bit of a discussion on if you're considering dating older um some pros and cons to think about and again we're just sharing our experience in terms of dating women the good the bad the ugly yeah yeah okay. it's funny i was actually just having a conversation with my friend um yesterday who is older mm-hmm. um and we we kind of touched on some of these pros and cons too um i know kia you found this article just that just kind of highlighted some pros and cons of dating an older man and some mm-hmm. of them are truly valid um yeah and some of them vary by person you know everybody's personality yeah. is different true so, is so true. i don't know what we should talk we should touch first <laughs> where, where should we start no i like that you said that i mean that's very important again we're not trying to typecast anybody um and older i guess maybe we should set like a precedence of what we consider older um would you say 10 years years or more is older because i feel like i mean obviously a couple two years is older but i think we are having a discussion more of um a larger age gap than maybe yeah. five years yeah i think maybe maybe anything over five obviously one to five years older than your than yourself is you're going to have a similar it's not going to be too much of an age gap that you're dramatically different. You're in dramatically different places in your life. So maybe let's go with, let's go with 10 or more. Um, I actually was having this conversation like, okay, how much this is me having a conversation with an older man. Okay. How much older would I date and what's my Mm. cap? And then how much younger would he date in his cap? So I think Mm. for me, 10 years is my cap. I I am not going over that. that. That's just, yeah personal preference and i have tried like 13 years older than me and Mm -hmm. for whatever reason maybe it was just the wrong person but it just didn't feel like that gap Mm. worked for me yeah (laughs) yeah and that's what we'll talk about because there are some 
I hate to say pros and cons, but there's some good and bad in terms of dating someone that much older, you know, mm-hmm. same thing. I've, I have, I've dated older than 10. Um, <laughs> my fiance is 12 years older than me. And so most of my discussion is going to toggle between dating him in our early days and also dating some other people. I don't want to name anyone specific. I'm not going to get this is like specific details about stuff, but, um, I had dated, uh, way before I met uh, my my fiance, I had dated someone that was uh, maybe almost fifteen years older. Oh wow! Um, for just a short period of time, but yeah, he he was definitely significantly older. So um, yeah, I go I go over ten, but yes, for this conversation, we'll say ten. Anything that's ten or older is what we um, or ten or above is what we consider mm-hmm. dating an older man. So let's jump right in. Um, again, you know, we love finding articles and having, you know, a little bit of a reference on our discussion topics. Um, and so we did a little bit of research and found several different like pros and cons. So we have six, six pros, six cons. Our first pro when dating an older man is that they are usually more mature um and it says that you know guys your own age or younger guys may not have as much life experience and i definitely from personal experience i can say that is a pro um maturity level for sure i think i've heard growing up that you know guys are just naturally mentally a little younger than Mm -hmm. (laughs) their actual age so it's like dating someone my age um i feel like they act two or three years younger. Mm -hmm. It's just, and again, it depends on the person. It's just our experience, but for sure, dating an older man, they are more mature. Um, they have life experience. So they have more to talk about because they've lived through a lot more. And I can see that definitely being a pro when, you know, um, you want to talk about a variety of things, things that are going on in the world, things that might be happening in the news, not just surface stuff, not just social media stuff. And I Mm -hmm. have found that an older man, um, can be on my same level and we are having, you know, discussions and, and things yeah. like that. Yeah, for sure. And I think it also depends on, you know, if you're dating, what your intent is in, at this point in your life as far as dating. If you just want to have fun, you know, maybe your age or younger is okay. But mm-hmm. I know for, for me, you know, in my early 30s, I'm at a point and also your own maturity level, right? So sure. some women may not be in that mindset of like, I want to have a deep connection and have serious conversation. <laughs> That's true. Um, but I do yeah. think that is a pro for sure. Like having a man who has that experience and like mm-hmm. just is mature. Like the childishness, yeah. I've never dated my age ever. Mm-hmm. I've always dated older because I'm mature for my age. Mm-hmm. And so for that, like it has Old to be a soul. mental. Yeah, it mm-hmm. has to be a mental um, compatibility. And I true. feel like when you date older on average like you said men tend to mature at a slower pace (laughs) than women (laughs) so sometimes you do need to date a little older to just kind of balance it out to be a little more compatible yeah absolutely i like that okay so that's one of the pros so one con um they can be a little possessive older men might be more worried you're going to be unfaithful um especially if you like to still go out to bars and clubs oh god this, I was gonna say, this is one i haven't i haven't <laughs> i haven't um, experienced this one so experience that i definitely have experience feeling um as if the person i was dating at the time was being a little possessive so i can under i can understand with that more maturity and life experience um they're settling down and if you are one that still likes to go out um a lot or just still likes to do a lot of things that maybe the older man doesn't. Um, of course they're going to have some worries that, you know, you might find some young <laughs> with a snap out there and, uh, you know, you just never know. So I, I definitely have felt that. And unfortunately that is a con. I mean, that is because it turns to arguments and it's, it kind of goes back to like a level of trust. Um, and I think what I found is that, you know, the possessiveness sometimes comes from just their own insecurity, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, insecure and their, their insecurities about maybe, you know, their age or how they don't have as much energy or they might not look a certain, have a certain physique at this age, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so they, they have these thoughts of like, okay, you're going out you're young or, you know, youthful and attractive so yeah because of that they might tend to 
question you a lot and that's unfortunate that's that's not good <laughs> yeah i was gonna say i mean this one though is is not i wouldn't say it's specific to the older dating an older man though because that's you true. can have someone at your same age and mm -hmm. they may be more of a homebody and you're not and so you can have the same issue because mm -hmm. you like to go out and they're jealous or you know they mm -hmm. could be Again, it's just their personalities could could yeah. cause this this insecurity in um, their lifestyle versus yours could cause an insecurity. And a lot of men are possessive in general, regardless mm -hmm. of age gap or mm -hmm. wherever they are in their life. So this one, I feel like, yeah, it's it, it can happen. It's a little in subjective. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think, you, we, again, you know, this could be. Any of these pros and cons really could go to men of any age because, you know, I think yeah. what was the first pro that they are more mature again. And this article that we found does say that it kind of has a little thing at the end where um, a little side note that, you know, any any man at this age could be like this because there are men, older men that are immature. But yeah, in terms of the yeah. possessiveness, it does say jealousy behavior can happen at any age if your partner is controlling where you go, who you talk to, and when you can go out, it may be time to end the relationship. So that's definitely the suggestion <laughs> of the article we read. Nobody wants to be in a toxic, possessive relationship like that. I guess um, the idea is that if you date an older man, you have a higher probability of them being a little bit more possessive than a man your age. But again, all depends on the person. All right. Um, let's go back to another pro. They're usually more financially stable. That was 100% my experience. How about yours? Um, I mean, I'll say I haven't dated a whole lot of, you know, 10 plus. It really has just been two. Yeah. And in one situation, um, yes, that this is definitely true and it's definitely a pro. Yeah. Um, you know, they've, they've learned some lessons, you know, whether they were always financially, um, literate or they've always been mm -hmm. good at, you know, saving money, building wealth or mm -hmm. not by the time they're, you know, a certain age, yes, they're more financially stable and that's what we all look for. So that's yes. definitely a pro. <laughs> Absolutely. I agree. I agree. And I'm the same. I think I've only dated a 10 plus, um, only two, two guys and both of them own homes already, um, and just just kind of knew the ins and outs of of being financially stable what what that means savings and retirement and you know investing and and owning maybe multiple properties and mm -hmm. just different things like that that again maybe as a younger woman you are aspiring to get to um so that can definitely be a pro to have somebody that is are pretty established pretty settled and so they maybe can help you along the way you right. know what i mean so yeah i like that yeah, I like that, too, because when you think about it, if you're looking for a partner, usually you want your man to lead. You want to yeah. have that feeling that I can trust him. And then if he's financially stable and he can show you some things like you feel a little more comfortable. So it makes the, the relationship work a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. Um, just it just made me think of, though, I have these discussions sometimes with friends of, you know, some of us be wanting a financially stable guy to just fully take care of us. <laughs> so that's like a whole nother conversation in terms of, you know, uh, the gold diggers or, you know, younger women's really looking for older men just purely out of money. That's not what this yeah, conversation that, is about. That's definitely um, a whole nother episode of... <laughs> that's a whole nother episode. Yeah. Because it's... I, I, I think it's okay that we as women do... That's what we look for. We search for someone that is financially stable. And I don't think that we need to feel bad or guilty about that. Sometimes I think there's that discussion of like, you know, you're purposely looking for someone that has money or that is stable. And yes, <laughs> well, I don't want all of us to be struggling forever. So I don't think yeah. that there's anything wrong with like, if that's on your list of... Um, trying to find a mate, a soulmate that that person is has their own home or own living quarters, <laughs> has a car, has a job. Like that's right. okay. <laughs> that is okay. Okay. Um, there is another con. They might not want to take you out very often. Older men have already lived out their party days. If you enjoy staying out until the wee hours of the morning, he might not always want to join you. Mm. I mean, I can so see the the wee hours of the morning part, but yeah, just taking you out is that that's something I haven't experienced. I feel like, uh -huh. but again, like it says, the wee hours of the morning. If you want to party to three a.m., I can see that. But yeah, I don't know personally. I'm not at that 
age anymore. I don't want to stay out that late. And if I do, it's not often. So mm-hmm. as long as we still go out, I'm good. But yeah, I agree. I, I was I didn't know about this con um, that they might not want to go out as much. So I guess it just does depend on how old you are, because I see I'm 37. So again, however old you are as a woman, I'm in a phase or in a space in my life that I am tired of going out. I don't actually not clubs and stuff. So then you kind of reinvent what does going out mean? Mm -hmm. A nice jazz lounge, like live music, small stuff like that. I mean, my fiance actually enjoys going out to dinner and things more than I do now. So it just, again, it still depends on the person. I can understand what they're saying. If you are someone that, that still likes to maybe go out and stay out real late. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big part of it. If you are someone that really likes to go out and stay out late, dating older men could be very tricky. And I've had that. I've had that experience. And it's interesting. And the housewives again uh, of Atlanta I remember there was an episode back in the day where Portia mentioned something about going out and her husband at the time, Cordell, was talking about he was going to lock the door. <laughs> and I believe he, I don't think he was significantly older than her, but he was a little older. And it's still, I mean, I think women might experience that sometimes, especially with an older man, is they're like, where are you? You out late. Yeah, you ain't coming back in the house. So. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't think I was watching Housewives during that time or maybe yeah. that 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 um franchise, but mm-hmm. I can see it. I can totally see it and I can see how it can be a con for sure. Yeah. All right. Um, This pro, they often have more sexual experience. I don't know how much we're going to get into that. Mm. Um, They've had years of experience that you might not have. Generally, older men know what they like in bed and they might know what you like too. (laughs) What do you say about that? Um, trying to read a little more but i mean Mm -hmm. i don't i don't know if i've had this um experience i think that yes this can definitely be a pro if if this if it's the case right if it's the case Mm -hmm. it can definitely be a pro but what i have found is that older men along with having the experience like they're more comfortable having certain conversations because they do have the experience so just being able to communicate, w- communicate what you like and what you don't like so yeah. that, and I think that's a big part of having it, that experience too. Now that you're mature enough mm-hmm. to, to have these conversations, it just makes it all, you know, that aspect of the relationship like better. Yeah. Um, I like that you said that. Cause I feel, I do feel as though older men, I mean, I would say just specifically more of the women that I'm with now mm-hmm. um, in terms of that experience, it's also like they understand intimacy they understand what women want, you know, that it's like an, an all day process. It's not just, Oh, we come home after work and let's just get to it. It's like (laughs) sending you messages or just little stuff. I feel like as an older man with that more experience, just life experience, they know that women needs, you know, softness and comfort and, and to feel good and, you know, not just like, all right, well you owe me, you know? So Again, yeah. not older, all older men are like that. Not all younger men are like that. But for this, the sake of this conversation, yeah, I can see in, in my experience, just, you know, again, that they have more idea of, of, of intimacy and what that might look like yeah. for the woman. So definitely could be a pro. All right. Um, uh, another con. I think we only have a couple more here. Another con, he might come with a lot of baggage. If he's been married, there's an ex in the picture and probably kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most likely. I mean, most likely if they're 10 years older, they're going to have at least have kids or a kid. Yeah, um, absolutely. So that I can definitely we, we we can just tell by the topic that, yeah, it's a con. You know, if you have an ex, ex-wife, ex mm-hmm. um, child's mother, um, if if that relationship isn't. Uh, resolved or any issues they had in that relationship isn't resolved it can definitely be a con in the new relationship that he's in so and and the kids too i mean it it can it can be a con depending on how Mm -hmm. how you navigate true i i agree i think and depending on your age if you are you know a certain age um woman and you don't have kids so having kids could come up as baggage to you compared to us it's you and I who have children. So if we met a man that has children, that's we don't look at children as baggage right? right. in that way because we're parents and we understand what that's like. So um, 
that could be a con if you are dating someone, honestly, even regardless of age, but if you're dating someone and you don't have kids and they have kids, um, it's a lack of understanding of what it takes to like be a parent or mm-hmm. how to navigate co-parenting with that, with the child's mom, mom. So if you're coming in and you're like, you know, I need the attention and we're right. going to go out and you don't have a good understanding that he has to like navigate his time and around his children and things like that. Yeah. That could definitely be a con. I think if you're coming in and you're a parent too, you definitely understand what that's like, but it can still be baggage. If like you said, there's unresolved, there's conflict. It it might not be unresolved, just continuous conflict with the, with the other parent. Right. Um, That could definitely be a con. That's, that's baggage. And that's, that could be tough. Yeah. All right, um, let's jump right on in. I'm jump right and continue on. A pro, they are usually ready to commit. Older men tend to know what they want. You probably yes. don't have to deal with the wishy washy "what are we" conversation, and older men will let you know if they want to get serious or not. Love this one. Totally a pro, and I think totally I've ex- kind of experienced it. Um, but yeah, I think so. I mean, by a certain age, they know what they want. Yeah. point blank period they know if they're and then you know too if they're actually committing and spending time with you uh-huh. you know they're going to make it clear their intentions they're going to make it clear um and yeah. they are ready to commit and they'll show you uh-huh. um and i think that is something that you don't necessarily or typically get with a younger man uh-huh. we don't know they're still trying to figure it out <laughs> <laughs> right they still trying to figure out their lives Kind of like you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this kind of, kind of all ties back into like having that life experience and stuff because they've, they've done the party and they've done what they needed to do. They might be more settled in their career. And so, yeah, dating an older man, they, the older man may know, hey, I know that I'm ready to commit. I know that I'm ready to settle down. I've done all the, the playing games and stuff. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, even as, at 37, guys my age, it's still, it's like, you know, just tell me <laughs> if you don't want it to, if you don't want to continue, just say that. Uh, but we're, I feel yeah. like we're in a, an era of ghosting people. And yeah. I don't find that older men do that. Matter of fact, they're reaching out like, okay, what happened? You know, like, let's have an adult conversation. If this isn't working, let's end it. Not just leave me on red. You know? Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's totally a different because I actually had like, now that I'm like back in the dating world, I did have a younger guy who he's a year younger than me. You mm-hmm. can just tell the mentality is different if they're ready to commit or not. And so the way mm-hmm. he talked to me or text me, you can tell he's still like in this player phase. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, mm, that's a turn off. But an older man, yeah. the way they talk to you, you know mm-hmm. that it's different. It just hits a little different a lot of times mm-hmm. with an older man. They're ready for just one person and they show yeah. you. Yeah, you're right. Older men definitely... I feel like are more secure in being with one person. They, they, I feel like <laughs> the old saying where they sow their wild oats. <laughs> I mean, they have had that experience and a lot of older men are kind of tired of going home to different people. Like they really want to have a partner or to have, you know, one, whether it doesn't even have to be marriage, but just they ready to just have one mm-hmm. at a time and enjoy that person compared to not that there's anything wrong, but the, the guys our age or younger guys, like you said, they still, they still figuring out, they still want to play the field, right. they want to date multiple people. And if you as a woman in your uh, space or your, you know, time in your life that you're like, I'm done with that. I don't yeah. want to do the, the, the playing around. I, I want to know if you're serious. I don't want to wait all day, and guess or, or pray that you're going to hit me up. Nah, an older right. man, an older man wants to be with, who wants to be with you is going to show you. So Definitely. I love that one. Okay. A uh, couple more. A con, you might have to deal with criticism. Okay. So this one says your friends or family members might have something to say. Cause when I first read this, I thought they meant criticism from the older guy. <laughs> mm. Um, but it's yeah. more from your friends and family. Th- this, this isn't something that I've experienced personally, but I did have a cousin who was dating an older man. I mean, much older, like maybe 20 years older than us. Uh, <laughs> and he, he looked like he takes very good care of, him, care of himself for his age, but you can still see the age in his face and things like that. And she brought him to, um, I think like Thanksgiving or something like that. And mm-hmm. the family was definitely <laughs> talking. <laughs> they were definitely talking. Um, oh, I think they, funny. I think a lot of questions to him, like, so what you want with my niece? Like yeah. just when you can, I think when you can 
not only they're much older, but when you can see it and you see them next to each other and you're like, is that daddy daughter? Is that? Yeah. That's when the criticism starts to really come into play because it's like visually it it doesn't make sense to a lot of people. Yes, I agree. I think when I dated um, the significantly older, because <laughs> with, with my fiance, I don't feel like I had um, any criticism at the time about like, you know, oh, he's he's so much older than you. Definitely some suggestions. I don't want to say criticism. Obviously, my mom is, you know, there's something you got to think about and you got to consider. So, you know, your family and friends, they love you. So they might say some things, but with the older, older guy, like back in the day that I dated, and of course I was younger. So the age gap looks, I feel like it looks worse <laughs> if you're like in your 20s and dating someone you know, mid thirties and close to 40 compared to maybe if you're like 35 and you're dating mm-hmm. someone in 10 years, you know what I mean? I just think the younger the woman is, then it, the optics, it's a little funny, but yeah, when I was dating someone 15 years older and they had like a family reunion at, they had like a cookout or whatever at their house. And some of the cousins, I mean, the people were just looking at me like, and I felt it. <laughs> I was like, Oh my God. I feel like one of the little kids here. It just was so uncomfortable so again, it wasn't necessarily criticism from them because they weren't my family and friends, but definitely the looks. And one of the girls, the cousins was like, do you live here? You know, it just was like, yeah. what are you doing here? <laughs> and I think one more piece to that, because this this happened with my cousin's situation and then maybe may potentially happen with my current situation. So he had kids, right, that were mm-hmm. either close to her age or mm-hmm. close enough to her age, right? Mm-hmm. And so those children... um may accept you or may not. So that's another bit of criticism you may get if that older yeah. man has has kids that are old enough to um, have an opinion. True. That's true. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Okay. Um, uh, pr- another pro, he'll probably get along with your parents. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can see that. I can see that. If I guess if your parents or family is not criticizing you, mm-hmm. then yeah, they might. Th- I guess it just really depends on the age. <laughs> yeah, if I guess they're that much older to be close to your parents' age. Yeah, obviously they're going to have a little bit more in common in terms of maybe mm-hmm. music and uh, media and things like that. Their their era of growing up. Um, so I could see how they're able to talk about a couple of things. I mean, that's happening in my current situation <laughs> where I see my mom and like, you know, they're, they're laughing about certain shows and, or music. And I'm, you're like, what What you're talking about? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah. So I could definitely see yeah, that. Yeah. But that can definitely be a pro, you know, cause mm-hmm. you know, why not? Who, who doesn't want their partner to bond with their parents? So. Uh-huh. Definitely. Exactly. All right. We'll wrap it up with uh, one more pro, one more con. Um, I will say one of the last con, uh, you might have different goals in life. Mm-hmm. You might just be getting your life started where while he's ready to retire. You might want to travel the world, advance your career, blah, blah, blah. And he is might be ready to settle down, start a family. Yeah, so. definitely a con. Um, and, and that's the thing. It's, it depends on what point you are in your life, because I feel like when I was 20, Mm -hmm. And I dated this older man that was 10 years older at that point in our lives. I wanted to have kids. I didn't have kids yet. He already had a kid and Mm -hmm. he was having a conversation like, Oh, I want to, I don't want to have any more kids pretty much. And so that turned me off and that we went our our separate ways at that point because we were at two different places in our lives. So it's a con you, you don't kind Mm -hmm. of want the same things at that point, but if it's later on, you know, you guys may be at a point where, um, you have common goals, but yes, definitely a yeah. con. Um, I, I like that getting your life started versus retired. Cause it's like, how is that going to work? Right. <laughs> how is that going to work? <laughs> That's true. That is true. Where if you depending on again, how old you are and you're, you know, you want to advance your career, you want to do more traveling or something. And if they are, are getting close to retiring, they've, uh, they've done all that. Um, I guess, it can only work if everyone is on the same page and is supporting of each other. Cause you might not want the same things in life, but you might be able to support your partner and what they want to do in their life. And it'd be okay. But you gotta, the realization is they're good. There might be some conflict there for sure. All right. Let's finalize, finish this up. 
Um, the last pro, because I want to end it on a pro, he most likely has a stable job. No more job hopping for this guy. <laughs> if he's <laughs> past his 20s, he probably knows what he wants to do and is sticking to it. Okay. Yes, that- yeah, I think that's a good pro. I like that. I mean, kind of, again, ties back to what we were talking about in the beginning. I think that dating older men ultimately just means they have more experience, life experience, job experience, sexual experience. They just have a little bit more experience. Um, and I had mentioned that, like if they're in a stable job and they're not, what you know, at one job, and then it's like, oh, you know, I didn't like it a year later because mm-hmm. you know, our my generation, and then you're younger than me, so your generation, I feel like y'all don't stay at jobs, not you, your generation <laughs> mm-hmm. doesn't stay at jobs long, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so, um, which is good and, or bad. You know? I was gonna say, I mean, you could say that for me too, because personally, while I have stability, have had stability over the years in a job. Uh-huh. I don't want to be, a, I'm, I don't have the same mindset as someone older who may want yeah. to work this one job, take, you know, retire, take their 401k, uh-huh. blah, blah, blah. Like that's not my generation. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I'm an entrepreneur obviously, but that's my goal. So I'm not going to commit to a corporate career in one job uh-huh. for one, a, a period of time, a long period of time, yeah. because that's not what I want. And mm-hmm. you're right. The gen, the the younger generation is a little different. Mm-hmm. The mentality is a little different. So, yeah. <laughs> but if that's what you want, if you want to be just stable and cushy in this one job, true. That that that's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see it being definitely a pro. I don't I don't think that having a stable job or one job could be a con. But um, you're right. I mean, it's just like a different mentality. Older generations, you know, older men, women. It's like I'm going to work this. 25 years and I'm going to get my pension. (laughs) (laughs) But see that the key is stable, right? The key is stable. Stable doesn't have to mean it's the same uh, company, same exact job. It could be the same career. You're still in the same career path. It's still stable. Even if you happen to switch, that's different from not knowing what career you want. Oh, I'm going to do this today. I'm going to be that tomorrow. So I think the right. stable is, is not necessarily working that only that one job, but it may be more so That's that true. career path. Yeah, I like that you clarify that because you're right. You, I have met guys where it's like, you know, I'm going to be, you know, an actor today. And then in a couple of weeks, I'm, I'm also personal training. And then, you know, mm-hmm. then I'm going to try uh, insurance. And then now I want to open up my own restaurant. It's like you that's fine but if you are a woman that is looking to for stability yeah. you're looking to maybe find someone to settle down and stuff you don't that's not appealing to meet a guy that is all over the place yeah which is interesting because i know i've been in, all over the place in my mm-hmm. career life and i still didn't want a guy like me <laughs> i didn't yeah, want I mean, someone but opposites attract you don't yeah you don't want somebody mm-hmm. who's why? How can y'all exactly. help each other? <laughs> exactly. Yep. I want someone that is going to be able to help me level level up in life. So, all right. Yeah. This Very was nice good. Discussion. This was good. I hope <laughs> I hope you guys can relate. I'm sure the ladies out there can yeah. relate in some shape, shape fa- form, or fashion um, to this Definitely. conversation. Whether Definitely. it's you, whether somebody has brought home an older man and you're like, girl, what's going on or <laughs> whatever. So yeah. we definitely appreciate you guys tuning into today's episode. Um mm-hmm. So yeah, thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Behind Glam Arena, Moms on a Mission. We have a passion for building sisterhood through wellness and creating a safe space where all women feel like they belong. Mm-hmm. Be sure to visit glamarina.com to shop culturally inspired active wear that reminds you that you are enough. Until then, stay well. <laughs> <laughs>